Welcome to today's video. Today's video is about a hum or a buzz in your audio video system. When I heard that dreadful sound, I went ballistic. This unwanted noise, it didn't get louder when you turn the volume up. The only way you could hear it is with the volume turned all the way down. And you might be asking yourself, well, why chase a problem that you can't hear when the volume's turned up? The answer is this. I got way too much invested in that AV system to have something misbehaving. So, whoa, I'm gonna fix. Hang on there a minute. Oh, jeez. You again? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on a minute there, Steve. Did I hear you mention something about an undesirable buzz? Is there such a thing? Yeah, a buzz in your AV system is an undesirable buzz. Whoo, a buzz in your AV system. Okay, that's a different story. You scared me for a second there. Holy smokes. I don't have the time for you today, so just go do what you do best, which is nothing. You got it, Steve-O, because we both know I excel at doing nothing. So hurry up with this thing you got going on because you're interfering with my do-nothing time. Thank you. Nah, right, forget about you. Let's go troubleshoot this. This is the architecture of my home utilities and my AV system to kind of try to help you understand how this all works. We got the power company coming in over here, goes into the meter, up into the service entrance panel. From there, all the wiring goes to your house. Uh, your outlets are daisy chained throughout your house. So everywhere an outlet's daisy chain, there's a connection. So you gotta be aware of that. I got the ground rod, where all the utilities, the cable, the power, and water, they're all clamped to that ground rod that's buried in the dirt. The first step was to disconnect the amplifier from the preamplifier processor. If you have an integrated amplifier, we'll address that shortly. With the amplifier disconnected, the system was silent which now means that the amplifier is good. For those of you with an integrated amplifier, this next step is where you could start. You wanna take all of your equipment and you wanna plug it into one outlet. Use power strips. Take a power strip, plug it into one outlet, put all your gear in that power strip, daisy tain two power strips if you need to to get everything plugged in. That gets all of your gear on the same power wire, the same neutral wire, and the same ground wire. If the noise in your system goes away, then you've got a problem with the wiring in your AC electrical system. One of those daisy-chained outlets could have a suspect bad connection. The noise in my loudspeakers was still present. Let's keep going. The next step we're going to want to do is disconnect everything from the preamp processor or your receiver. If the noise goes away, you've got either a bad component or a bad patch cable. So start plugging your stuff in one by one and see what gives you the bad result. And then you'll nail it. I had all of my gear disconnected and the sound from the loudspeakers stopped. But I could still hear a buzz coming out of my television. I disconnected the RCA connections and the HDMI connections between my TV and my cable box and I still had that buzz. Then I disconnected the coaxial cable that comes out of the wall and goes to that cable box. And guess what? Silence. I hooked that coax connector back up to that cable box and the buzz came back. So now I knew I had a cable problem within my house. So with everything reconnected except that cable to the cable box, my system was silent. So when I plugged that cable box back in with the coax from the wall, the buzz came back. I got myself about a three foot piece of 16 gauge wire. I crimped, stripped one end, I crimped the lug on it, and I stripped the other end. I took that lug and I screwed it into one of those cover plate screws that hold the cover plate on because that's a ground. So I screwed that wire to that cover plate and I took the other end of that ground wire and I touched it to that coax connection on the back of that cable box. And guess what? It was silent. Right then, I knew I had a ground problem in my cable system. Let's go outside. 
this is where all the utilities come into my house. Electric, cable, phone, water. Let's see what we got. So out of the meter, we got a six gauge ground wire. It goes underground, comes back out, comes around to the water, through a clamp, to the ground rod. Now this is inside the cable box. So now I've got a ground here. That ground is nice and clean. That ground comes out, comes down and around, goes underground, goes underground again, and picks up this fitting right here. This was my problem. This is where I had a bad connection. I took this connection apart. I cleaned the copper six gauge. I cleaned the green wire from the cable company. I cleaned the inside as best I could of this compression clamp. I put it all back together. I come inside, I listen, I don't hear anything. I'm ready to celebrate success. And I was like, wait a minute, I put my ear right up to that speaker and I could still hear that sound. As faint as it was, I could still hear it. It was not totally gone. So once again, I take that wire I've got connected to that faceplate, and I touch that coax cable. Silence. Well, either that cable's bad, or there's something going on with the splitters in the attic. So up into the attic I go. Now we're in the attic. That outside cable comes up. I've got two splitters up here. And each one of these splitters has a ground point on it. So what I ended up doing is I ran a ground wire from this splitter to this splitter. And then from this splitter, I picked up the AC ground from this light switch for the attic. Once I grounded these splitters up here, the system is 100% silent. So grounding those two splitters to my home AC electrical ground solved my problem. And you know what? I could have bought isolators. They do have ground loop isolators that you could just screw it onto the coax cable and it would be gone. But there's six rooms of cable in this house, so every room is going to have that problem. Why put a Band-Aid on something if you could fix it for real? I'm not going to put a band-aid on something to fix a crappy installation. So right now with those splitters grounded, my problem is gone. And if I couldn't have fixed it with those splitters in the attic, I would have come up with a way to connect the cable coming out of my wall to one of the AC outlet grounds just to take care of that noise. Well, cheers to a buzz-free audio video installation. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Take care. See ya.